Good morning, Tube. Welcome back to another daily edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Today is Monday, Monday, November 5th. So we established today is Monday, November 5th. Today is rent day. Rent gets paid for the shop today, guys. Yes. Every single month. A rent has to be paid every single month. A light bill has to be paid every single month. There's bills that need to be paid for the shop. This is what it takes to run a shop, guys. Uh, don't think that it uh, magically is just there, you know? That's why I say appreciate your, your owner, you know? You don't know what he's going through to make those rents. Just imagine, guys, for you barbers that are just getting started out there, imagine, okay? You probably, if you don't live at home, you probably pay rent somewhere. Now, imagine if you had to pay rent twice. That's what it is when you're a barbershop owner. You got to pay rent twice. You got to pay your mortgage at home, and then you got to pay for your rent at your establishment. So it's a double whammy, double light bill, double cable bill, double uh, 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 water bill. Everything is double, guys. So, you know, when you're running a business, the overhead is crazy because you still got to live at home take care of your family and you get you got to run the shop so you got to make enough money to cover both so just keep that in mind guys next time you want to bitch at your boss because you know what or you want to complain because you know you feel like you're not making enough money at your shop you know uh you know guys it's all up to you it, it, it's not up to your boss it's not up to your establishment everybody should build up their own clientele everybody should bring people into the shop if you're not handing out business cards, if you're not posting up pics of your haircuts, if you're not making videos of your haircuts, then you're not doing enough. And you need to you need to get out there and let people know that you're a barber and you do good work and you need customers, you know? Like simple as that, guys. As simple as that. That's the that that's the the, the recipe right there. And at my shop, you know, I don't even know if the guys that work for me even watch these videos. But like I always say, uh, the blueprints there, guys, I'm the blueprint. You know, I'm the blueprint. You know, if you guys just not, you know, and I, I'm not saying do everything that I do, but follow what I do. Work like I do. Do like I do and you'll, you know, and things will come, you know. But some people don't like to follow those directions. You know, I have people at my own shop that they run their own program and they do things their own way. And, uh, you know, and, and that's okay. That's okay. But, you know. If they, if you want to get ahead, guys, you have to have a certain mindset. You have to have a certain, uh, 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 uh you have to have a game plan. You know, every day's got to be a game plan, and it, and that's it is what it is, and that that's just the way that it is. I'm gonna put some gas right here, and then I'm gonna head over to the shop. Today is me and J Lo working. J Lo's back at the shop on Mondays. Every Monday she's gonna be working with us, so she'll be there with me at the shop today, just me and her. For those of you, for those of you that don't know, J Lo is my daughter. She is a, uh, she's also a barber beast. Uh, she knows she gets down. So she's been a barber, licensed barber already about uh, probably six, seven years. So uh, yeah, probably about six years. So uh, uh, she's me, me and her are going to be working today. So I'm going to try to put her on video today so, so you guys get an idea of how she cuts hair. Okay, guys? So with that said, I'm going to go head to the shop and get started on this day. Every day is a win Since I was told that you don't want me Baby, you're just cold and You know I try to hold on to it as do you move So 
for the so for those of you guys that don't know, J Lo is my daughter, Janelle. My name's Janelle. We call her J Lo because short for Janelle Lovio. That's my our last name. But um, she's been working for me already for six years. You know, uh, how she became a barber was uh, this is a little story. So I'm gonna tell it to you guys. I used to work for a guy back in the day when I first started barbering. I used to, I used to work for a guy. His name was uh, Big Boy, and uh, Big Boy's Barbershop. And this guy had his mom working there. You know, his little lady. You know, his mom. I mean, she wasn't that old. She's probably in her 70s, probably. But he had his mom working at his barbershop, and you know, she faded. She taught taught her how to fade, taught her how to do everything, just like a regular barber. And then. Um, he had two shops and he had his mom working there, you know, and I used to always be fascinated. He, you know, when I started working for him, he entrusted me, told me that he was going to set me to work with his mom and, and he wanted me to, you know, make sure, keep an eye on her and everything was cool at the shop and his mom was a very nice lady and um, she was an excellent barber, you know, and I always thought like, man, that's when I realized like anybody could be a barber, you know, like, and it's true, anybody could cut hair. So after that. I'm, you know, I started uh, w when I got my own shop. Later, when I got my own shop, at that time, my daughter was still young. She was only maybe it was nine years. Uh, she was only twenty years old. You know, so at that time, she wasn't a barber yet. That's when uh, she got out of high school. I told her, like, you know, she, I, I had already had the idea in my head, like, you know, if you're not gonna go to school, you're not gonna do anything. You're gonna become a barber. And she, at that time, was like, no way, I don't want to be a barber, you know, there's no way I could do that, I can't, like, I don't know, I'd be nervous cutting hair, I'd be nervous, everything. So, um, you know, so she, I let her do her thing and let her go to school, and, and uh, she had to produce something, and, and uh, you know, after a few, four years, five years in, uh, of going back in and out of, uh, of junior college, and, you know, trying to do something, and not being able to do anything, and I told her, you know, you know what, that's it, you're going to go to barber school, and you're going to come work for me, and, and I'm going to teach you how to cut hair. And, uh, and at first she wasn't keen to it, you know, but, you know, I kind of, I, I kind of forced her to go. She ran out of options and, you know, I told her this is a great career and it's going to be good for you and you're going to be in the family business. And, and the, the rest of the story is, you know, it's history. She, she became a good barber. She's, uh, she's already been working for me for six years, you know, now she has two, two little girls and she's worked through that. And, and, you know, and, and it's just, it, it's a blessing. I, I, I think it's a blessing to work with my kid. I, I love it. You know, it, it's always, uh, um, she's a good worker and she, she does exactly what I tell her to do. So for me, I, I need more workers like her. You know, the only thing about her is that she has kids, you know, she's, she's not readily available no more. So now we've uh, uh, brought in Raul. I, I mentioned Raul. Raul is Janelle's other half. You know, her better half, so her, her other half. So, so she's uh, that's going to be her new. Uh, they're, they're they're engaged. They're going to be married, and that's the the um, the girl's boy, the uh, father. So you know, so now we brought him in. So right now he's on the in the process of getting his apprentice license, and he's going to be working for me too. So. For the time being, they're not going to be working together. Of course not, because uh, somebody has to be watching the kids, you know. So uh, for a while, they're they're going to be switching off, and they got a station at my shop, and uh, they'll be switching off, and Raul will be doing the majority. Uh, I'm bringing him in, and as soon as his apprentice license comes in, he'll be working full time for me. And uh, from there, we'll, we'll you know we're gonna he, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's two extra workers for me, and I, I, um, I know I know they're hungry to make money, and, and that's the most important thing. So. We'll go from there. So, okay, guys. So, I'm going to go grab some lunch right now. Just wanted to share that with you. A little thing about my daughter. It's kind of nice having her at the shop today. Uh, you know, it's been a while. She's been gone for about three or four months. She worked last Monday. So, this is the second Monday. So, it's kind of nice. It, it's cool having her around. So, uh, I'm going to go get some lunch right now. Head back to the shop. Finish up this day. Try to videotape. I'm going to try to put a videotape of uh, one of, uh, of Jado's cuts up. So, if so you guys can see what kind of work she does. All right. So, with that being said, guys, you guys grind on. If you guys ain't grinding, something's wrong. Go!
was Monday. It was just me and JLo working today. So uh, that's going to be our regular Monday schedule from now on. Me and JLo. JLo is back. As you guys know, JLo is my daughter. So, you know, she's been out since probably, uh, she's been probably been out since like late June because she just had a baby. So uh, little by little, we're going to try to get her back in here. But for now, it's just going to be one day a week on Mondays. But it was really nice having her here today, you know, like, not only for the fact that she's my daughter and I love her, but, you know, it's just, it's good to have somebody who here that I can depend on and somebody who, you know, if I need to leave the shop, I, it's not a problem. If I need to go run to the bank, it's not a problem. If I need to go do an errand, it's not a problem. I could trust her, leave her here, and not have to worry about anything happening to my shop or anything better better yet, anything happening to one of my customers. You know, I know my customers are going to be treated the way I need them to be treated, the way I treat them. So... That's that's my daughter. My daughter, she handles business just the way I handle business. I've trained her exactly the way I work, so she knows exactly what's expected of her. She doesn't play around. She knows what I don't like. You know, I'm going to let you guys know something, guys. I have these three, three pet peeves that really, really irk me. And, and, and th you know, this this is like something that, that, that I expect from my barbers, and I don't, usually don't get it, you know. Like, number one. I hate, I hate, hate tardiness, you know. If we open at a certain time and we close at a certain time, I expect our, 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 our barbers to be here at that time. If I open at 7.30 a.m., then I don't expect you to be here at 7.30 a.m. I don't expect you to show up at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. No, 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 no. That's not the way it works. Just because you're self-employed and, you know, you work for yourself, that doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. Not at my shop, anyway. I don't know how it is at other shops, but at my shop... People have to follow the rules. So when I got my daughter here, that's a good thing about her is that she always follows directions. She always tells her, do, do, does everything I tell her. So that's one of the benefits of having her here. You know, when I'm when she's here with me, it, 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 everything runs smoothly, and I don't have to worry about bad haircuts. I don't have to worry about anything because she just does it. You know, and that's just the way I like it. But so today, today was a very productive day. Uh, uh, extremely busy. I mean, for just two of us here, uh, I mean. It was a really, really good day. I mean, we both really, really worked hard. So uh, that's it for this week. Today is my Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. I, I already got somebody calling in sick tomorrow. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to try not to be here. I'm going to call a couple guys, see if I can get somebody to come in to work. But if not, there's a chance that I'm going to have to work tomorrow. So if that's the case, then um, it is what it is. Uh, uh, tomorrow is November 6th, guys. Tomorrow is a... a, a a day to vote, guys, and and I encourage every single one of you guys. If you guys are even though you're self-employed, guys, you need to get out and vote. Vote. Everybody should vote. Your vote counts. Trust me. When you think your vote doesn't count, it does count. So make sure you get out there and vote. Make your voice heard. We need to win. We need to win this house back. So you guys need to get out there and vote. All right, guys. So get out there and vote. I encourage every single one of you to get out there and vote. With that being said, that's it for this week, guys. This week is over. Uh, hopefully, I don't work tomorrow, but I might have to. If it is, I'm going to come in a little later because I got to do some things in the morning. I got a dentist appointment, and uh, plus, I got to go vote. So, make sure you guys make room for that tomorrow. With that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. Guys, I know a lot of you guys are watching my, my, my channel, and you guys aren't even subscribed. I need you guys to subscribe. I need those. I need to click the little bell so you guys get the little notifications every time I make a video. Simple as that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all the hyperlapse videos I'm putting up. I've been putting up a lot of them. They're just quick videos that I use on Instagram, but I put them up on my I put them up on my YouTube because I want my YouTube subscribers to understand that it's important to work on your portfolio and keep your portfolio looking good. Because without a portfolio, guys, nobody knows who you are and they don't know what you can do. So keep that in mind, guys. I had a customer come to me this week and tell me that the only reason why he came to my shop and came to me is because he saw one of my videos and he saw that the movements that I make, he knew that I knew how to cut hair. And uh, so that's just, you know, that him telling me that makes me want to make more. And it, and it just proves and shows that that video is king, guys. When they can see you doing something, they're going to they're, they're, they're gonna take that into account. They're going to know that you're, not, that you're for real. So keep that in mind, guys. With that being said, you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on Thursday.